Welcome to Me B League. It's our third show of the season. What's up, everyone? What's happening? This is Keita, you host for Me B League. Let's get straight to the point. Kiefer Ravenna was balling against defending champ Chiba on November 11th. He went off for double double. Kiefer finished with 27 points, 10 assists, and 3 steals. Even though Shiga fell short at the end, losing by 6. His field goal percentage was close to 80%. The matchup between Kiefer and Chiba's Togashi was so entertaining, and they were reading the game and leading their team on a different level. Kiefer and Togashi were having some conversations after the game. I was wondering what they were talking about. So, let's hear it from him. Uh, uh, it was a tough game. Uh, of course, we wanted to win. Uh, till the end, I think we had a chance to win. And that's the best chance that we could have uh, facing the defending champions. I'm very proud of my guys. Everybody stepped up. Uh, we just have to take this experience playing against the defending champions to our next games in the future. Uh, we know how to compete at a very high level. Uh, our last three games was Tokyo Alvar and no, now twice with Chiba. Uh, even though we all lost, but I think for a very young team like what we have, in the long run, it will really benefit us. About my personal, uh, about the game, uh, I just wanted to come out aggressive, you know, playing against Yuki, uh, playing against the defending champions. I think we had a lot of motivation. Uh, you know, Shiga is a team on the rise, and that's what we want. Uh, the team to, uh, other teams that we're going to face to respect us, and uh, every time that they will play against Shiga, they will understand how hard it is for, for them to beat us. So, uh, as long as we play together, uh, we keep our mind in our system and we play uh, uh, Shiga basketball, uh, we'll always have a chance to win. And, you know, I just, I was lucky that, you know, my, my, uh, my shots were falling in, uh, but everybody stepped up, you know, it's uh, at the end of the day, uh, even though I played well, we still lost. Uh, but, you know, we take it to uh, the learning experience of, of this game. It was a, uh, well, first, of course, we talked about the game. Uh, Yuki was telling me that, you know, there was, it was nice to have a lot of Filipinos come here. Uh, we played against each other with the national team. And uh, I just told him, like, whenever we had a chance to uh, go out and have dinner or have coffee or when we have our free time, uh, we could, you know, talk and, you know, pick each other's brain. Uh, in terms of how to improve even more. I want to learn and hopefully you can learn a thing or two from me also. So I guess th those are the only things that we talked about and you know, we're excited to uh, help our teams in the future. Of course, they're the defending champions. Uh, and like for me, uh, being in a new team with Shiga, uh, I have a lot of uh, ambition also in helping the team succeed and hopefully playing against them at a very high level, we, 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 we can able to, we can follow up with that performance in our next games. And I guess that's why we, we, we connect with one another because uh, we both know uh, what we're capable of doing as long as we play our best and give it our best. And you know, I'm just he's, he's played in the Olympics and I want to ask him what was that experience about playing against uh, playing against Coach Luis uh, and everybody else with the, with the top players in the world. So uh, I want to learn from that also. And I have a big announcement to make. 2021-2022 B-League All-Star Game will be held on January 14th, 15th next year at Okinawa Arena. And it's official. There will be a special game between up-and-coming stars of the league and Asian star players called B-League Asia Rising Star Game. I think this is an amazing idea and we definitely want to get involved in this. So please look forward to it. <laughs>